So, McGolf Academy carrying on. Sorry, uh, having te technical difficulties. Even though it's choppy, this is more of a podcast. So just listen. And if you need to see some things, you know, there'll be movement and, uh, you know, the, you just need to see, you know, stuff. There you go. I hope that was fun for you. Um, Lexington 18, the road gives away beneath two sisters returning home. They wind up living. But the road underneath them, that was McGoffin County, the rains. And rain's been affecting everybody. In fact, Barack Obama, again, has declared Kentucky a national disaster. So we're going to get that federal dollars. Barack Obama saved Kentucky during the ice storms of 2009, the tornado Armageddon of 2012, and the rain Mageddon <laughs> of 2015. So every three years, it seems like he's just giving Kentucky a bunch of money. Nobody, nobody in Kentucky voted for him, but uh, he seems to be treating us pretty decent, pretty decent, especially since we got the biggest, two biggest Republican asshole senators has been giving them hell the whole time. So Barack's heart is in the right spot. So more than 300 attended a public meeting on the Mountain Parkway, Prestonburg, Kentucky. More than 300 people attended a public meeting Tuesday to offer feedback on two options under consideration for extending the Mountain Parkway from Sawyersville to Prestonsburg. That's good, right? Public works project, more roads, gives jobs, more connection, better for transportation. Where are they getting this money from? I don't know. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet representatives present information on preliminary alternatives to create a four-lane route that would extend the parkway about 14 miles through McGolfin and Ford Floyd counties. So they build a bunch of, you know, new roads. A Michigan man has been arrested following a Tuesday morning stabbing in McGolfin County, Sawyersville, Kentucky. WKYT deputy said it happened during a fight at a home on Old Garner Trail in Sawyersville. According to police, Ralph Edward Enix and Eric Fletcher got into a fight that ended with Enix stabbing Fletcher in a nearby driveway. Fletcher was reported, uh, reportedly stabbed twice in the back, resulting in a collapsed lung that filled with blood. Enix, age 38, of Woodhaven, Michigan, was charged with first-degree assault and is in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center. So they got a big-ass jail, probably one of the biggest employers, I would assume. 14%, 15% unemployment. Judge orders Sawyersville, man, when it, it's always been, McGuffin County always has high unemployment. They had high unemployment for like every year. I mean, every time the unemployment rate comes out, they're always one of the lowest. The Department of Financial Institutions announced restitution of more than $1.3 million was ordered to be paid to five victims in a securities fraud case in McGuffin County. More fraud, more corruption. How much corruption can one county have? There's corruption in the um, construction companies, construction in the elections. There's you know corruption in uh, the investors. So the Department of Financial Institutions, they said they stole $1.3 million. Pamela Jean Williams, 51, and Richard Dow Williams, 72, both of Sawyersville, were sentenced in McGolfin County Circuit Court. Mr. Williams was sentenced to one year, and Mr. Williams was sentenced to three years. Both sentences are probated for five years. Judge Kimberly Chiders noted, however, that if restitution is not paid within the five years, the probation can be extended. The Williamses were charged with 10 counts each of selling unregistered securities and five counts of fraudulent securities practices for misrepresenting or omitting material facts about a gas well investment. Each pleaded guilty in November to a recommended charge of one consolidated fraud count with restitution to the victims. DFI encourages... Those who have information about any type of investment fraud to call 800, uh, anyways. So, you know, damn. The Department of Financial Institutions, who are these? This is Kentucky, one of the uh, Kentucky cabinets. Department of Financial Institutions. A gas well investment. So I guess they really got on it, right? I've never heard of this uh, cabinet, but they, they got on it with these folks for a bad investment with a gas well. So I guess they, you know, I don't know. Snake woman, hey, we got a gas well, invest in this. How come you told me, you know, to invest? I've lost all my money. Well, you know, it's your fault. It ain't my fault. I'm going to sue you. Sawyersville, Kentucky, while crews worked to repair damage caused by flooding that happened back in January, an air quality check was made on the McGolfin County Justice Center. This actually might be the best fucking thing that's happening in McGolfin County. The McGolfin County Justice Center, the Injustice Center, right? All the corruption, power oppressors, right? You get what I'm saying? Fascism, police state, it's closed indefinitely. So actually, there might be justice. When New York 
uh, police stepped down and quit issuing tickets after Eric Garner had got choked to death and the indictment didn't go through. That's when the police said that they were going to be gentler and didn't start ticketing everybody and started, you know, taking less of an active approach and crime went down. So when the police stopped doing their thing, crime actually went down. And so, you know, if that's the case, then um, the, the, that indicates that the uh, police are the ones either creating a crime themselves or creating a culture where that is what manhood is. That's how you get things done. You yell at people, beat them up, you, you know, spit in their face, and uh, you win, everybody else loses, and you win through violence. You know, that's, that's, I think that's fascism, but maybe just a violent bully. Fast, that's a fascist motherfucker, man. That's a fascist motherfucker. So, um, McGoffin County Justice Center closed indefinitely. We got a report, an air quality report that didn't look too good. So Judge Chiders felt that it was in the best interest of everybody that the, uh, as an employee, we shut it down until we find out what's going on. The air quality report, I guess there's a uh, poison. While officials work to find a solution to the problem, everything. We do the driver's license, ID, CDLs. We take care of district court, family court, circuit court, Sedman, Golfing County, circuit court. Tanya Ward has been canceled. Everything. Those who work in the building are hopeful they can return to work soon. We want to be back open, hopefully today. They tell us the air quality in our building is good, so we can go ahead and be open again and start fucking people's lives over. Hurry up, get them in, slaughter them in like fucking cattle. Make sure you fuck over every poor person dumb enough to be arrested for some dumb, trivial offense, somebody who doesn't have a lawyer, somebody who the police pick on all the time. Officials tell us tests were ran today and will continue tomorrow morning as an environmental team will come in to determine the problem and hopefully answer some questions to see if we can get back in the building or if we have to go to an alternative site, which we have been looking at those to see when we can be back up and running. They should keep it down. They should shut it down indefinitely. That's exactly right. Thirty years ago, married to an old McGolfin family, the, the residents were pretty tolerant, but it doesn't translate to civil rights. So, you know, gay marriage, they, uh, McGolfin County really hates gay marriage. They're not only some of the, you know, um, poorest and un most unemployed and corrupt counties in the state, but they also are really homophobic. And if you know anything about homophobia, the ones who are most turned on uh, by homosexual porn are the homophobes. So if you're sitting there, you know, I hate gays and gays and that and gays, gays, gays. That's all you think about. Right? Um, it, it actually turns out that you are most turned on by the gay porn. So homophobia it indicates that somebody who is afraid of gay people is either denying something in themselves or something they actually already believe. And so they, they you know, that's, um, you're gay, man. <laughs> you hate gay people? Oh, so you gay. Okay, gotcha. I hear you. No, no, you're not securing your masculinity. You need, you know, gay people to be shamed and pushed out of the way, or else what? You're just going to start sucking their dicks? <laughs> it's just going to, oh my God, I just have to have it. I feel sorry for the homophobes. They are insecure pieces of shit. And uh, it's 2015. Get over your fucking selves. So, McGoffin County, come on. You killed all the Native Americans. There's no black people in your county. The ones over there were slaves. You, sundown towns. Give me a fucking break. You know? It's home to 85 churches, though. Many of them Pentecostal. Holiness and other fundamentalist Christian varieties. So, when they banned gay marriage, 94% of the voters voted for it. Yeah, they don't vote in the primaries, but they'll vote to make sure they fuck over some gay people. So, pretty much all of them in Golfing County are just a bunch of queers. A bunch of queers in hiding. Um, and they hate themselves. They hate other people because they hate themselves, right? They hate the gays because they hate the gay themselves. And that's why they're violent, corrupt, backwards, stupid, and bullshit. I'm sure machismo is very much... It was strong and going on there. Fascism, fascism is the norm. And um, that's unfortunate. What about building culture? What about sharing stories and sharing experiences with each other? What about bonding? What about helping people? What about uh, de-escalating situations instead of escalating them? What about, you know, just making things better? You know what bowled bowl me over? You watch Baltimore, right? And they're sitting there saying that they haven't given any 
money for the college or you know infrastructure or anything so um, they're sending the police into these poor you know really hard off neighborhoods thinking that the police are going to solve their problems and they're not going to solve their problems because the problems is uh, the context bad education no jobs you know and probably bad health care police brutality is impoverished and uh, violence all over the place if you got shitty cops and you know shitty gang members you gotta look over your back for criminals and criminal police so you gotta look over your shoulder for everybody and um, you know if the conditions on the ground were better then you wouldn't need that so we, let's start treating people the way we actually should be treated you know and, and just uh, fuck the bullshit Kentucky fuck the bullshit Okay, so I'm going to come back uh, in a second here. Um, there is a murder, uh, and I think it was a murder. They killed a Vietnam veteran. The police did. The McLaughlin County Police killed a Vietnam veteran. Coming up.